Hello everyone. Uh, we are going to see one more example related to the mehil nirut sirat theorem for the DFA state minimization. Here, a uh, DFA is given, wherein the A is the start state and E is the final state. I have drawn the state transition table for this, and then I am going to mark the states in which one of the state belongs to the final state and the other one does not belong to the final state. So this is the table, and in this table. We are. We will only consider the lower triangular, lower triangle values, not the upper triangle values. So this is the B A pair. This is the C A, C B, then D A, D B, D C, E A, E B, E C, and E D. We have to mark these entries. So let's see if they can be marked. So I'm taking a pair B A. So B and A both belong to the unmarked, uh, non-final state, so they cannot be marked. Now the C A state, C and A. So this is also not possible. C B is also not possible. Both belong to the non-final. D A not possible. D B not possible. And D C is also not possible. They all belong to the non-final state. Now the E A combination can be marked because E belong to the final state and A belong to the non-final state. Similarly, D B sorry E B E final state B non-final state E C E final state C non-final state. E D E final state and D non final state, so they have been marked. So now we will see the entries according to the step number three. So step number two has been done. We are going to see the step number three. So in the step number three of the Mahil Nero theorem, it says that we'll take up all the pairs and we'll see their transitions. So the one of the pair is B A. Then I'll see for C A. Then I'll see for C B. Then I'll see for D A pair, then I'll see for D B pair, and then I'll see for D C pairs. So for B A pairs, so I'm going to see for the B A. So let's see the transitions. So B with zero and A with zero. So this is the first transition I'll see. So B with zero goes to B, and A with zero also goes to B. So the same, so they cannot make a pair. Similarly, B on one and A on one. So B on one moves to uh, D state, and A on one moves to C. So the C D pair is not marked, so B A can also not be marked. Let's see for C A pair. So for C A pair, we'll see the transition of C with zero. And transition of A with zero, both of them go to B, so they are not making any pair. Similarly, we will see the pair of C with one and A with one. So C with one moves to C, A with one also moves to C. They cannot make a pair; they are the same state. So C B. So transition of C with zero, and then transition of B with zero. Both of them will lead to state number B, same state, so they cannot be marked. So then I'll see C with one and B with one. So C with one is uh, C, and uh, B with one is D. C D is not marked, so they these states can also not be marked. Now I'll look for the D A pair. So for D A, I'll see the transition of D with zero. And then transition of A with zero, so D with zero goes to B, and A with zero also goes to B. I'll see the transition of D with one, and then I'll see the transition of A with one. So D with one goes to E, and A with one goes to C. So you see the E C entry. So E C entry is already marked. Okay, I'm encircling this. E C is already marked, so I can mark D A also. So I'm marking the D A state, D A pair. Now let's see the entry for D B. So the transition of D with zero, and uh, see the transition of B with zero. Both of them will go to B, and then transition of D with one, and transition of B with one. So D with one goes to E. And B with one goes to D, so I have to see the entry E D. Since E D is already marked, so I can mark D B also. So D B entry is getting marked in this step. Okay.
So I'm going to see another one. It is DC. So the transition of D with zero and the transition of C with zero, both of them will lead to state number B. So they cannot make a pair. Let's see the entry of D with one and entry of C with one. Transition of D with one and transition of C with one. So the transition of D with one, transition of D with one. Uh, leads us to E and C with 1 leads us to C. So since EC is marked, so EC is uh, already marked, so I can mark DC also. Okay, So the DC is getting marked in this step. Now I have taken all the pairs and now I, have, I will have to repeat. So I will have to repeat for BA. I will have to repeat for unmarked BCA. And then I have to repeat for C, B. Since I have already taken the transition, so I, I will just look at the transitions. So for the B, A, B, A, you can see that B, B, and then D, C. So since D, C is marked, I can mark B, A also. So B has also got marked. Okay. Now C, A. C, A leads to B, B and C, C. So they cannot make a pair. So they are not going to be marked. Now for CB, zero transition leads to BB and one transition leads to CD. So you can see that the CD is, uh, CD here is not the pair or DC, DC pair we can take. So DC is already marked. So I can mark CB also. So just see that we have marked the CB, okay. Now, since there have been the changes in this step, so I'll repeat this. So when I repeat this, I only get a pair CA. So in CA, you can see that they are leading us to BB and CC. So they cannot make a pair. So CA cannot be marked. So this is the step where I have observed that there are no new markings possible. So the only uh, pair which is to be combined is the CA pair. It means I will combine A with a C state. Okay, let's draw the new transition table. So the A will become AC state and this will be the initial state. D, D and E will remain the same, E is the final state. So AC on zero moves to state B, AC on one moves to state number AC. B on zero moves to B, moves to D on one, D on zero moves to B and D on one moves to E and uh, E on zero moves to B and E on one moves to C that I will convert it to AC state. So I'll, I have the uh, state transition table for the minimized DFA. Let's draw the transitions. So AC is the state and then AC with zero goes to B AC on 1 remains at itself, then B on 0 remains at itself and uh, B on 1 goes to state D and D on 0 goes to B, D on 1 goes to state E which is the final state. So let's mark a double circle for this and then uh, e on 0 goes to B and E on 1 goes to A, AC state. So this is the minimized DFA for the given DFA. So I hope that Mehil Nehru theorem is uh, clear to you and you can solve any other questions related to the Mehil Nehru theorem. Thanks for watching this video.